Hey guys, what's going on? It's Chris from the Grid Hi-Fi. We're out here in Dallas, Texas. We're about to do an unboxing of this brand new Samsung micro LED TV. We're at the Samsung Experience Center here at the World Trade Center. If you guys haven't seen this place, definitely recommend coming out. If you can't come out, <laughs> check along these videos. You guys are going to see some cool stuff. We're going to get this thing unboxed. We're going to let you guys know about all about it. And can these guys get this before the Super Bowl? Is, is it possible? Oh yeah. yeah. It's possible? It's possible. So give us a call, guys. We'd love to help you out. We're going to do it right after the intro. All right, so if you guys aren't believing me, this is the brand new Samsung Micro LED. This is the 110. Actually, this is the, what, the 98 right here? That's the 98. So this is, let me drop down the exposure so you guys can see it. So this is the 98. This one was actually just over there. They're doing some minor surgery for this, this upcoming video. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get this thing uh, unboxed. We're gonna get it on the wall. But th this one was a little bit of a bear to get over here. But uh, let's, let's see what's going on with this one. God bless, that's a big box. <laughs> okay guys, let me let you know about some of the products that are in the boxes that you get with your brand new unit, right? So typically most of you guys aren't even gonna be using this stuff. Like it's gonna be up to the dealer to come in and install on this stuff for you. So really what we have in here, a couple different cables. Um, I think the major one is the one that's being run right now, um, but it is a, that's the fiber, right? Yes. Okay. So we have Chris over here running the fiber down into the wall. But uh, I wanted to show you guys that from before, but it's kind of cool. So this one connect box, typically what happened before is you had a proprietary plug on the back of this unit, and then it would basically have a tether to another proprietary plug for the back of the Samsung TV. So let me see if I can find that thing real quick. Do you have it on your end already? No, it's right here. Okay. So this is basically what I was talking about. So this gets plugged into the back of your Samsung TV. And on the other side, you have a plug that are your, your, your fiber um, and it has a plug to it. So you would plug one side here, the other side here, this goes into the TV, you're off to the races. So a lot easier, it's a two meter optical cable included or fiber cable included into the unit itself and you guys can make longer runs you know if you need to to accommodate that as well so here's the one connect box for hdmis you have your x-link as well hdmi outs so you have an eARC and one dedicated for gaming obviously like i was talking about you have your fiber out for the one connect lan if you want to hardwire this thing so that you're not dealing with ethernet or, or correction if you're not dealing with wi-fi make your connection bulletproof and then you have an optical toss link out right here makes it a lot easier to get the audio out of your system if you aren't using eARC Besides that, you have some other additional units in here. We have a uh, part of the mount here, another part of the mount there. We have some various hardware throughout this unit, but we're going to go ahead and get this thing installed right now, right back here, and I will pop back in in just a second. All right, so we're getting this unit out of the box. It has an anti-static coating on it, and look at this bad unit right here. That is super cool. Let's look at this thing up close. Man, that's cool. So it kind of has an inboard built-in anti-reflective uh, coating on there. All right, guys, check it back in. A couple of things I want to let you guys know about is that down here, we actually have the handles for the unit. So these are not meant to stay on there. That's why earlier, whenever we showed you, they had those metal plates for the side. Those metal plates basically go here. So in return, it gets shipped without the metal plates on there so that you, get, you guys can actually just put the handles in there and be able to lift this entire unit up. So there are four of those, makes it a little bit easier for you. This is 191.4 pounds. Uh, I forget the, the measurements in kilos, but it's this is a big bad unit. You know, you're, you're, you're going to need some, some, some help on this one. But the idea of it is that this isn't necessarily going to be installed by yourself. Typically, you're going to have a professional come out. So give us a call. We'd be happy to help you out. Um, last thing on the back you'll see here is that you actually have some speaker designs. So let's see if I can pump up the ISO. We have, uh, it looks like two subwoofers here and here. And then in the middle is going to be your tweeter because you have a, an additional, um, an additional ring on, uh, on the surround. So we have one here, one here, and then we have another one down there. And then another one over here being blocked by the foam. But it looks like you have a massive tether down here for your power cord. So this does 
anywhere between you know standard US 120 and also does 240 uh, right out of the box. So we have our one connect unit right over there. So basically your uh, proprietary plug is going to click right into there and you're going to be good to go. So the cool thing with this one, can you hand me the bracket real quick? So the bracket is really, really cool. This, we already added it on there. The way you do it, you can have it different ways. You can have it inboard or outboard. And by that, I mean this. See if I can juggle this, do this, wrong way. Okay. So you can have them outboard like this, or you can have it on this side, or basically have it reversed to where you have more on the other side. And then this one clicks in just like this. So let's see if we can do some live action right here. Zoop, right there. So it's basically no gap in between this thing. And it's a really cool design. And since this thing's so, so heavy, you know, uh, you don't necessarily need another one down below because the weight of it basically sandwiches it to the wall. So it doesn't matter how expensive, how big the TV gets, this part never becomes sexy. <laughs> you basically have the template that we have drawn out down here. We have center wall or center way into the room drawn out over here on this wall. And then you kind of got to figure out, do the math to see how big this thing is. Just for reference, let me show you this. This unit right over here is the 98 incher, right? So almost every single thing in this showroom, and let me show you guys the rest of the showroom, it's all cohesive, right? Everything is to the same height, TV wise, panel wise. So whenever you're looking at something, you're looking at it all at the same height. Since this one is just so massive, we actually have to lower that down. So this one's at the same height right back over here. And then since this one's so massive, we had to do some of the, the math to figure out exactly how it's gonna fit on this wall. So we're still working, <laughs> give us a minute. I think this is the first one out here in this regional location that we're doing. So we're running into some, uh, you know, install woes, but we're handling it as we do it. So I'm gonna check back in in a minute. Okay, so handheld with the camera guys, uh, looks like one of the battery, batteries failed on the gimbal stabilizer. So the 110 inches is right up here. We're getting, we, ac we already did a minor adjustment on the, um, the LED panels. So again, this isn't something you're just gonna pick up and have Uncle Larry come out and install this stuff. This is a massive installed <laughs> project. You're gonna need professionals coming out there with white glove service and you're gonna have to do the panel alignment. There are three axes three axes of adjustment that you're gonna have to be doing. So you're not gonna be able to see anything over here. And I'm looking at the, the camera. This is filmed in 24 frames a second. This panel's probably somewhere at, you know, native 60, 50 volts or uh, Hertz. So you'll see the lines. That's not something that you're gonna see in person, but you will have to do the panel alignment and you'll will notice that whenever I originally said that there are the strips in the box, you will have to pop off the top strip which isn't popped off in the first place. You might have a little bit of hesitation doing that, but top strip's gonna come off. That's gonna uh, avail you to look at the bolts or the screws to actually move this thing in and out. There's screws on the back as well. And then this area is for the handles as well as more adjustments for you. But I'm not necessarily gonna do a tutorial on this because really we're gonna be coming out and installing this thing for you. But we got this thing installed. We're gonna go ahead and put an image up there and we'll be doing some more checking and then We'll be singing from there, so I'll check back in a minute. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for the installation of the 110 MS1A. This is their 4K micro LED smart TV from Samsung. Again, like I was talking about, just some of the, the quick features. Infinity screen, which means it's going to be borderless. It has that monolithic design. 100 watts of your sound bar is going to be coming out of this thing with a 6.2.2 type configuration. Uh, it can be tied into some of Samsung's soundbars for an even better experience. It's called Q Symphony, but uh, yeah, <laughs> the, the proof is in the pudding. This thing looks incredible. So if you just don't want one massive image that's 110 inches, you can actually break it up into chunks, into quadrants, and have four individual images on there so you can watch as many uh, sports as you would like or all of your newscasts all at once or whatever you guys want to watch. Or let's see, what else, what else is in fours? 
uh, all John Wicks. You, got, you can do that at the same time. So that's basically it, guys. If you guys want something like this done, make sure to reach out to The Grid Hi-Fi. We'd be happy to help you out. White Glove Services, always. That's all I got for you guys. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one.